Hello and welcome. In this short sequence I would like to talk about fading. Fading is a problem in wireless communication. The ideal world would be that we have a sender and the receiver and we just have the line of sight, straight line of sight, and we just have a little bit of attenuation between the sender and the receiver. Unfortunately, the ideal world is not happening in the real world. We have additional effects coming in this transmission from the sender to the receiver. These are, for example, the multipath fading and the Doppler effect. The multipath fading and the Doppler effect cause the fading in our signal transmission and we have different kinds of fading. And to see these different kinds of fading, we consider two diagrams. The first diagram is the received signal, the received power over time. And the second diagram is the received power over the frequency. So we actually look how the signal develops over the time and we look how the signal is received in different frequencies. So over time it could be like that, that you have something like this here and you see that at the beginning there is the signal a little bit stronger, it varies with time and here later on the signal is attenuated a little bit more so the received power is not that much. And we see the signal varying over time. First variation is the fast fading. Fast fading means that the received power changes quicker than the actual received signal with a higher frequency than the transmitted signal. This might be the case in the first phase here. You see that the changes of the received power are much more frequently and this might be here in the order of the symbol time. Second type of fading is the so-called slow fading. And slow fading uh, you might also have here in this diagram because the signal varies over time. At the beginning you see a quite higher level of the received power and here at the end of this diagram the power is much less. But compared to the other type of fading where you have a higher frequency of the variation of the received power, the variation now is not that frequent, so it's a lower frequency of the change in the received power. So this is called the slow fading because it's much slower than the actual transmitted symbol. And now in the second diagram we study the received power regarding to the frequency. And regarding to the, to the frequency we have again two different types. The first type is the flat fading. So flat fading means that you might have a signal which is transmitted at a certain power level and flat fading would reduce power level in all frequencies. So you would realize that there is a certain attenuation and your original signal is attenuated with a certain factor. This is flat fading if it affects all frequencies which are important for the signal transmission. The second type of fading is the frequency selective fading and that means that you don't have an overall attenuation in all frequencies or in most frequencies but you have a certain attenuation maybe like this in a certain frequency range and then in other frequency ranges it's uh, attenuated not that much. So maybe here in this area you have such a frequency selective fading so in a certain frequency range in this range you might have this frequency selective fading. And this actually affects our signal such that we are not able to receive a good signal over the entire time and in all frequencies which we need for our signal transmission. 
And actually, the uh, you could say that uh, if we have the multipath fading, if we have the movement and there is the Doppler effect, we just simulate the movement and the attenuation by a multipath, so uh, we could uh, get a proper model. But simulation of fading is actually very complex and difficult. So that's why you actually use statistical models to make assumptions about these fading effects and you simulate that uh, with this statistical model if you check your algorithms for your signal processing. So fading is an effect regarding to time and frequency which makes it difficult to receive our signal which we need for the communication between sender and receiver.